Hello, welcome to Southern Snowdonia. We are in the Cambrian Mountains and currently we are in the Cum Kiwak car park. We're waiting for our good friend Danny Rush because he's joining us on this hike. We're surrounded by some impressive looking peaks overlooking this car park. So when he arrives, we're going to take a hike up to Aaron Valdoy, um, Aaron Ben Hlin. Hope we'll do a, a well camp on top tonight, if it's not too windy. If it is, we'll drop down a bit and find somewhere sheltered, hopefully. Um, we're going to do something we haven't done before, uh, cooking something a bit different. Um, hope it all goes to plan with some controversial ingredients. So, um, so yeah, we're looking forward to this one. Come with us and uh, see how we get on. Danny is here and we are on our way. So let's start the hike. Basically, we come out the car park, turn right, follow the path down about 20 yards, 50 yards, and then you turn left over the bridge, like we saw, and then that's the start of the trail we're taking. The initial climb is uh, really steep but then it sort of levels off where we are now and then you get great views of this valley but we're heading that direction where Danny and Mark are down there and the first peak of the day I believe is called Dreskull if you've never been to North Wales before or Snowdonia check it out because you won't be disappointed and you get views like this. Stunning place. Just to give you an idea of where we're going, following this path up. I don't know if you can see a path there that goes onto the ridge, and then we're going to follow it all the way around. And looking at that, I don't think we're going to see a whole lot unless that shifts in the next 40 minutes or so. We'll see. See what it's like when we get up there. Hopefully, it clears. If it doesn't, then well, that's life, I'm afraid. But so far, so good. Onwards we go. Onwards we go. Tell you what, these ferns are high. Bloody hell. 
I'm just hoping there's no um, ticks that take take a fancy to me because I don't fancy having one of them in me. Simon, I went in Switzerland, which was a bit of a bit of a pain, like. But hopefully, we won't have any. Oh. Still making our way up. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, when we camp tonight, we're all in tents tonight, and um, me and Simon are using our MSR access ones. Danny's using his Bobcat one, I think it is. And we haven't used our MSR access ones since I think it was April in Kevin Rustrid in Bracken Beacons. So it would be nice to finally spend the night in M again. Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, we've been meaning to do the Aaron Ridge for a couple of years now, but there's that much to do, just getting around to it all. And another thing is trying to get us all available on the, on the same weekend, which is uh, not easy. We all got um, lives outside while camping, hiking, so yeah, when the stars align and we uh, put a date in the diary, we all meet up and then whatever the weather is, that's what we got to put up with unfortunately, but we would rather blaze in sunshine, but it's not too bad, at least it's dry so far. Expecting some rain, but it hasn't materialised yet. But it's all good, and yeah, really enjoying it. Just past uh, a party of people coming down from Aran and uh, we're following Danny up this path going round that ridge to the first summit which is Druskel. I don't think we're that far away now. So here Dreskel. we are on the summit of Dreskel and this is it. This is it. This is it. It's the best you're gonna get. Seven four five meters. So it's not seven five nine. Danny! Seven four five? Yeah. Seven four five meters. I stand corrected. I was wrong. Another area with the pitch. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's quite sheltered, yeah. As you can see over there, not much of a view. Can't see any of the surrounding mountains. 
is a clag but hey ho so this walk has leveled off somewhat and um, just through the clag I can see a lake at the bottom of that mountain over there but offhand I don't know what it's called but I'll put it on the screen right now two seconds ago I could see it pretty clear but now the clag is rolling again and visibility has gone to zero over that direction so we're going to carry on following this path or track up to Aran Valdoy I wish we could see a bit, a bit more than what we, what we can see you know I'll have a drop down there that's really steep that is um, coming along this ridge shining through the clag is uh, an obelisk I believe and this memorial cairn was built by members of Royal Air Force St Athen mountain rescue team which is not far from us in memory of SAO Michael Mike Robert Aspen who on 5th of June 19 60 was killed by lightning near the spot whilst on duty with the team. Well, the rain's coming in now, um, visibility is getting even worse. So, we're thinking of just doing Aran Valdoy and um, keeping Aaron Benklin for another day. So, we're gonna tap up on the summit of Aran Valdoy and find a place to pitch a tent, I think. No wind, pretty calm on top here, but just the rain and the clag. Which is pretty shit to be honest. And it seems like this sort of weather follow, follows us around. Whatever we seem to go out hiking and doing wild camps, this is what we get. So hopefully our luck will change. Soon. Just dropped the packs down there. Oh. Gotta hike up to the summit now. Get back down to the bags and then drop back down then. Tell you what, we get all the best weather. It's like a lake district all over again. It's like walking up Great Gable. Oh. No. Visibility is low. Oh, I don't know. There's Simon down there. Mad. <laughs> and here it is folks, Aaron Valvoy, 905 meters elevation. And I'm not going to lie, the visibility is shit. <laughs> As usual. I'll do a 360. And look at those incredible views. Tell you what, the weather will be kind to us one day. You never know. Yeah, next summer, if we have one. As my phone goes off.
right on cue. All good fun though. Yeah, like we said, we're not going to attempt um, Aaron Bentley in today. Just give us a excuse to come back um, when the weather's a bit better, hopefully. So, yeah, that'll keep for another day. Heading back down now. Let's go and, uh, let's go and retrieve our packs and uh, make our way a bit further down and see how the weather's looking down there. And then see how it's going to be, how it's going to be, how it's going to be like. This is windy. And there they are, just where we left them. <coughs> Good here, isn't it? <laughs> Not what was forecast, is it, boys? No. This wasn't how it was meant to be, or how we planned it, but... Uh, that's the mountains view. Half past five now. Yeah. We want to drop down a bit, don't we, out of this clag? Yeah. yeah, see what it's like, innit? I'd say, worst case, we can always hightail it back to the car and find a boffin. Yeah, worst case scenario, innit? We're not far from um, Penrose Isaf and we could pick fuel up from the spa in Dolgetle. It's not what we wanted, but look at it. It's absolutely pants, folks. We'll drop down to where we seen them pitches, and then we'll make a decision what we're going to do then. Yeah, all right. Let's do that, is it? Yeah. Okey cokey. We want to stay out in this. We're not fair, fair weather campers by any means, but you know, it's not what we planned. Better safe than sorry. We come back down now, and where we thought we were going to camp, um, it's a bit lower down from the summit. The weather is atrocious, and it's just getting worse. Um, we don't like bailing on a camp, but to err on the side of the course, I think we're going to go down off the mountain because the wind is picking up. I'm not sure. If you can hear it on the camera, on the audio. But we think it's a safe, safe thing to do. And we're going to bail on this camp. We're not happy about it, but that's what we decided. So we'll see it on the bottom. Hello again. We are safely down from the mountain. In the camper van, heading towards Penross, East South, Boffy. Um, we're going to go dog get and get some fuel, some wood or some coal and we're going to head there and hopefully there's room and we can get the fire started and uh, get dry, warm and comfortable for the night. We'll see you when we get there. We are on our way to the spooky <sighs> Buffy in the woods. Oh. God, this is steep, isn't it? Oh. Bloody hell. Mad. Oh. This is harder than Aaron Vauvoy. Well, really really right there, me and Simon are in the boffy, Pen Ross Isaf. Danny's in the living room talking to a few of the other guys who were already here before we came. And we're going to cook some food now, we're absolutely starving and we're going to cook some pizzas. Never, never tried this before, so we'll um, get the frying pan oiled up now and see what we can come up with. 
I got some, don't know if you can see that, jalapenos. And we spoke about this earlier, the controversial ingredient, pineapple. I don't know if you agree with that or disagree with it. Drop a comment in the um, comment section. Let us know if you have pineapple on pizza. Because we like jalapeno and pineapple. Bit of spice, bit of sweetness. We've also got a bag of mozzarella and cheddar mix. Proper pizza tomato sauce. We're going to make them with these tortilla wraps. What we're going to do, fry it on the one side and then turn them over and then put the toppings on, sauce, cheese, see how they turn out. Get a bit of um, pizza sauce on there. Yeah, get some cheese on there, kid. Come on, you put the toppings on first, don't you? Yeah. Right, what do you want on this side? It's like Master Chef, isn't it? I've got the pineapples. It's controversial, this, folks. Do you have pineapple on pizza? Let us know. Either way, yes or no? Yes, we do. I reckon I'll do some. Just let that cook as it is now. You got it, put a lid on it, and that the cheese should melt now. Have a look at that. When that cheese melts now, it's gonna be lovely, lovely. This is Buffy style pizza. I mean, the idea for these um, camping pizzas is a YouTube channel called Jim Bed. It's giving the idea. I tell you something now. They're amazing. Nice crispy, thin base. Pizza. And I tell you what, that smells amazing. Well, Simon, you have that one, I'll have the next one. So the proof of the pudding is in the eating, so check it out. What's the verdict out of 10? Yeah. For cabbage food, barfy food, 10 out of 10 for me. Amazing. The flavour is honestly really good. Give it a go. Hello, welcome back. As you saw, we ended up in Penrose, East South, Bothy, near Dolgathlai. Um, had a good night, made some pizza as you saw, uh, it's been really good, nice people in here, good company. Um, yeah, so I'll just show you, I'm not sure I've even shown you the, the main door, Pen Rossi Saf, it's an NBA Buffy. So Welsh as well, bilingual. Yeah, it's been uh, a good end to uh, a bit of a sketchy day to be honest because uh, we didn't know what we were going to do. Um, sadly, we couldn't camp on top of the, uh, the mountain we wanted to camp on because the weather was that bad, but it turned out quite well. So, um, yeah, so have a few more beers and a bit of chit chat like we normally do and uh, you'll see you in the morning. Good night.
and welcome back to Penros Isaf Bothy. One the planned stay like you saw yesterday, but it turned out well in the end. Um, it could have been a bit naughty staying on a mountain last night with the wind up there and rain. So um, it turned out well in the end. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope you come back to the next video in the future, whenever that is. So, uh, so yeah, take care, see you soon.